How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to use the join method on arrays in JavaScript. So join allows you to join an array and put in a string as a separator. So it's a very common and useful thing to see. What we'll do is we'll make a new array called, for example, names equal to a bunch of names. Let's just say uh, Dom, Nick and Sophie, the typical decode names. So now with this, we can create, for example, something like this, Dom plus Nick plus Sophie. And we can make this string out of this array using the join method. What we'll do, we'll say names dot join and then pass in a space plus then a space. So now the join method will add that right there between each element and doesn't include the last element. So it's smart like that. It's only between the individual elements themselves. So uh, we should actually put this in a in a string. So we'll say let's uh, string conversion, for example, equals names.join and then plus. So now if we log out string conversion, we should see that right there. We'll save that one, go in the browser, refresh, and we do. Perfect. Now if you don't put an argument to this function, it still works. However, it simply does this. Refresh, we see commas. So a comma with no space is the default value for that separator if you don't pass it in. Now obviously this is useful for comma separated you know, files or any data storage like that. We need comma separated or you know, stuff like that. It obviously comes in handy quite a bit. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.